Let's take a look at some examples where we apply our knowledge of nature of roots. Number one, show that negative x squared minus 6x <clears throat> minus 13 is equal to zero has non-real roots. Okay, so the moment you are asked a question about the kind of roots that an equation has, we immediately are going to find the value of delta. We first check, is the equation in standard form? Yes, it is. So we can go ahead and substitute our value straight away. So delta is b squared minus 4ac, which will be negative 6 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times negative 13. And that gives us a delta value of negative 16. So therefore, delta is negative, it's smaller than 0. So therefore, we can conclude that the roots are non-real. And that's exactly what we were asked to show. So we have answered the question. We have found the value of delta. And by doing so, we have shown that the roots of that equation are not real. Question 2. For what values of a will ax squared minus 16x plus 30 equal to 0 have unequal real roots? Okay, so again, we are being asked about the roots of the equation, so we need to find delta. Before we find delta, we need to make sure that our equation is in standard form. Here, we do have our equation in standard form, so we can immediately substitute for our delta. B is negative 16. 4 is just, um, at least A is A. We don't know what the value of A is. And C is 30. If we... Um, <coughs> Simplify that. Negative 16 squared is 256. And 4 times 30 is 120. So it will be minus 120a. Okay, so here we can't see what our actual value for delta is because it still contains a variable. But we were asked to tell the marker for which values of a will this thing have unequal real roots. So we ask ourselves, what do we know about the discriminant if the equation has unequal real roots. So for unequal real roots, the discriminant is positive. Okay, so so long as the discriminant is positive, we will have unequal real roots. So therefore, in this case, because the discriminant is 256 minus 120a, we know that that needs to be greater than zero. If we solve for a, I'm going to add 120a to both sides. And if we divide both sides by 120, we that simplifies, um, it becomes 256 over 120, which simplifies to 32 over 15. So in other words, provided a is a number that is smaller than 32 over 15, the equation will have unequal real roots. Okay, in your homework book, there are some examples for you to try, so please pause the video and try those examples. Number one, show that x squared equals to 4x has real rational roots. Okay, now before we can do that, we have to make sure that this thing is in standard form, and currently it's not. So we would need to subtract 4x to both, from both sides in order to get it into standard form. We are asked about the nature of roots, so we need the value of delta. So it's b squared minus 4 times a, I beg your pardon, which is positive 1. And c in this case is 0. And negative 4 squared is positive 16. So therefore, the discriminant is positive and a perfect square. So therefore, the roots are real and rational. Okay, question two. For what values of k will x squared plus 3x minus k equal to zero have non-real roots? The moment we are asked something about the roots, we always start off with delta. This is in standard form, so it will be negative, um, beg your pardon, b is positive three. So b squared minus four times a times c. And that gives us 9, negative 4 times negative k is positive 4k. Right, if the um, equation has non-real roots, so for non-real roots, what do we know about the discriminant? We know that the discriminant is negative. 
So therefore, 9 plus 4k will be less than 0. So 4k will be less than negative 9. And if we divide both sides by 4, k will be less than negative 9 over 4. So in other words, so long as the value of k is a number smaller than negative 9 over 4, the equation as a whole will have non-real roots.